Okay, here's the problem solving video for problem 127. It says find IX, and we see our circuit there, the different elements. And uh, the way we'll approach this problem is we know that for our circuit, the power supplied has to equal the power absorbed. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through and calculate uh, the power absorbed and the power supplied, set those equal, and that's how we'll be able to find the uh, variable IX by using this process. So let's uh, go through and start calculating uh, the powers. Okay, so for instance, let's take element 1 on the left of the circuit, and if we note for element 1, we've got a current of 1 amp that's entering the plus and leaving the minus, so this uh, element, the voltage and current satisfy the passive sign convention, so the power for this element is 25 times 1, which is 25 watts, and we know that's absorbed. Okay, so element number one is absorbing power. Okay, um, for uh, let's see, element three, let's calculate element three. Okay, for element three, uh, we see that the current is entering the plus, leaving the minus. Again, those satisfy the passive sign convention. So for element 3, the power absorbed is 15 times 2, which is 30 watts absorbed. Okay. Uh, now, let's look at this 10-volt source. And again, if we note... Uh, there's also two amps flowing through this source. Notice the direction. It's entering the plus, leaving the minus. That configuration satisfies a passive sign convention. So the 10 volt source is also uh, absorbing power. And in fact, it's absorbing 20 watts of power. Okay. Now, let's go to the current source. Uh, if we look at this current source, we see the voltage across it. We see the current. Notice the current is coming out of the plus. It's moving this way, so it's leaving the plus. It enters at the minus. So this source is actually going to be supplying power because that's the opposite, the passive sign convention. So P is equal to 25 times 5 which is 125 watts supplied. Okay? So we've got element 1, element 3, and the 10-volt source absorbing power. The 5-amp source is applying power. Now, let's look at these two elements, the current source IX and element 2. Uh, so for element 2, The voltage across that element is 15 volts, and because of the current source, the current flowing in that direction is the current IX. So if we look at the voltage and current for element 2, they're going to be in a configuration to, to not satisfy the passive sign convention. In other words, this element's going to be supplying power as well, and it turns out for element 2, that the power is going to be 15 times IX supplied. Okay, so element 2 is supplying a power of 15 IX. We have a voltage of 15. We have IX leaving the plus. So that's the power supplied by that element. Our last element is our current source with our unknown IX. Notice now, just like this current source, the current's going to be flowing out of the positive 
terminal for the voltage is going to come in the negative flow out the positive so that uh, IX source is also going to be supplying power and in fact the power supplied by it is going to be 10 times IX okay so there's the power supplied and absorbed by each element now uh, based on our statement that we started off with that power supplied is equal to power absorbed let's use that principle now to solve this so for the power supplied we have 125 plus 15 IX plus 10 IX is equal to the power absorbed which is 25 plus 30 plus 20 and we solve this we get 125 plus 25 IX is equal to 75 and continuing to solve 25 IX is equal to minus 50 therefore IX is equal to minus 2 amps 